I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber Ria. The question here is, write coordinates of one other point that would be on the line passing through A, 3, 4, with each of the following slopes. So we have four different slopes here. A is 2 over 3, B minus 1 over 3, C is 5 and D is 0. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin by placing point A. So let us say this is the point A for us and we'll give it the name A. Coordinates are 3 and 4. I'm not doing it on a graph paper. I'm keeping it flexible. It helps me to explain better. Okay. These are all the slopes. So these are all the slopes. So M for four different lines is given here. We need to write coordinates of one other point that would be on the line with given slope. That's the question. So let's begin with 2 over 3. So when I say that M equals to 2 over 3, it really means that from this point, if I go two units up, slope, uh, let's say this is change in Y over change in X, right? Change in Y over change in X. X is horizontal, Y is vertical. Okay. So that really means that from this point, I could go two units up. That is change in Y. So let's say one unit and two units, right? So, and three units to the right, plus three. So one unit, two unit, and three units. So we land up at a point. If I join A with this point, I will get a line which has a slope of 2 over 3, correct? And what is going to be the point on it? The point will be, let me write, let me write a name here, let's say point B. Since we went up, the y value changes by 2, so y value will be 6, 4 plus 2. Since we went right, x value changes by 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, so we get a point 6, 6. So point B is 6, 6. So we get point B in this case as 6, 6. Now let's look into the next slope. Here we have a slope of minus 1 over 3. So slope is minus 1 over 3. When I say minus, that means we have to go down from the point A, since A is a common point for all these lines. So we can go down by one unit. So let's use another ink. We can go down by one unit, that is going down is like this, right? And three to the right, three to the right. So it could be one, two, and three. That becomes the second point, right? Joining A with this point gives us a line on which these two points will lie. Let's call this point as point C, for example, okay? So let's call this as point, point C. The coordinates of the point C will be, we went down by 1, that is minus y value, right? So 4 minus 1 is 3, and x value is increased by 3, so 3 plus 3 is 6. So point C in this case, which will lie on a line with slope minus 1 over 3, is going to be 6, 3, okay? Let's look into the next two examples. Here, the slope M is given to us as 5. 5 really means you could write this as 5 over 1, correct? So that means for a change of 5 in Y, X changes only by one unit, right? So in this particular case, change in Y is 5. And change in X is how much? 1. So there's no denominator. It is assumed to be 1. That's kind of important to understand. So let's sketch this line also now. So we could go 5 units up from here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say this is my 5 units up and 1 unit to the right. That gives me the point D for example. And point D should be 5 more for the Y value. Remember that this is Y value. So we are starting from A, which is 3, 4. So 5 more than 4 will be 9. 
and 1 more than 3 will be 4. So the coordinates of this point will be 4, 9. And a line could be drawn joining these two as shown here. Is it okay? So that becomes the line for C. Now when I say the slope is 0, it means what? That is important to understand. A slope of 0 means horizontal line. So this, this does not rise. So we say change in y is equal to 0. That is what it is. So a horizontal line gives you a slope of 0. So let me sketch a line here, horizontal line, kind of like this. Now any point on this line will have one thing common, that is y value will be same. y value is going to be 4. Since it goes through point A, which is 3, 4, and it's a horizontal line, x changes, but y does not change. That is zero slope. Change in y is zero. Change in y is zero. So the y point remains same. So we could call this point as E, where y remains same. So we'll not change 4. We'll keep 4 as such. But you could have any value of x. For example, you could have 5 for x, right? Or 6, whatever. So you could have a line. Since we have taken a point far away, let's call this as 5, 4 in this case, right? So that becomes a point which is horizontally placed with point A and slope of this line AE is 0. So I hope with this example you understand that a positive slope means resulting into a line which is rising. Negative slope results into a line which is dropping, as you can see here, the green one. A steep slope, 5 is a very big number, and you see how steep this line is. Higher the slope, steeper the line. Zero slope means a horizontal line as shown in yellow. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to understand the concept. Feel free to post questions and share your views. Thank you and all the best.